Zoom, so zoom. what we're going to do here is we're going to use this manual tire machine from Princess Auto to dismount and mount these lightly used road tested. Yeah, yeah. Metal tires. Big corner. Big corner. Bang. Going up wall. something on the altar of sacrifice here. Uh, Chris has already uh, started the sacrificial right, process here. So I bought this at Princess Auto. My buddy Nathan picked it up for me. It was 30 bucks on clearance. They're usually like $99.99. Um, Princess Auto is the Canadian version of Harbor Freight. I love Princess Auto. Super uh, like basic. So I just welded some stuff to some other stuff and made a mount for my trailer. Cause like, yeah, drift game. Why pay someone to mount and dismount your tires? when you can do it yourself. Zoom, so zoom. what we're going to do here is we're going to use this manual tire machine from Princess Auto to dismount and mount these lightly used road tested. Yeah, yeah. Metal tires. Start off by pulling the valve core. Having a Schrader valve tool. Super nice everybody. Those tools are like three or four bucks at Princess Auto. to break the bead with the bead breaker. So just line her up. Grab your breaker bar. Honestly, this thing works better than like a tire machine sometimes. So you gotta put it on that edge there with the rim. That's why we call it the rim destroyer. Put on the nipple and then you get this baby under here. And this thing pretty much works better than like a tire machine. She just breaks the beads. Boom. Boom. Look at that. That's the sound of success. Look, it does it all. Obviously these tires are shot and they're really soft, so it's easier. So uh, before you use this machine, make sure you uh, burn your tires down to the belts. The second bead on the back is usually a little harder. Oh yeah. There we go. Ta -da. Once the bead's broken, we move on to phase two. You got this thing to put through one of the that goes through one of your um, wheel bolt holes. Watch out when you're working with these shredded tires because uh, the belts are sharp sometimes. Put this baby on there. It also aids in the destruction of the rimage. And now we're going to peel the tire. One per with two people, it's like two minutes, two or three minutes. You can probably do a tire when you're better. Uh, probably two, three minutes once you're proficient. Now we're gonna mount a new tire. Okay, we'll mount this one. I like to lube the bead up with some dish soap and water. Nothing fancy. I do it. I use this bar to start it. This part's a lot easier with two people. That's pretty much all I bother doing. And then I take it off. I find this part's easier on the ground. If you guys have an easier way of doing it, leave a comment. Stand on this part, push it down. Simply just pry bar it on. Also, why it's a rim destroyer. Just walk it on. Moving your feet. Don't 
take too much at a time. Just work your way bit by bit. Boom. Next step, I'll uh, get the air pig where you get your air compressor on there and you seat those beads. So the best way to do this is an air compressor with the valve removed still. Just air it up to what you want. That's it. Like, what's that? Like, five minutes on your own? So I hope that helped you guys. I know a lot of people buy these machines and they don't really come with any instructions. Uh, that's just kind of the basics on how to get it to work. Uh, if you have any cool tips or tricks, then make sure you leave them in the comments below and let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out the other content. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and on... Uh... Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. See ya. Yo! channel follow us on instagram and on facebook check out the shopify store hell yeah and um yeah just stay tuned because there's going to be off-roading there's going to be drifting there's going to be tracking and lapping yep. and a whole bunch of shenanigans in between maybe some motorcycles oh, everything yeah